of them, so it's easier yeah. oh. for the baby to have. He's really out there. He might just be preaching one day. Good morning, everyone. We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna sing "Stand Up for Jesus," page three seventy seven. Okay, so there's two songs that look exactly the same, but we're gonna sing the one on the left in the in the dark blue songbook. Dark blue. Yeah. What, what page, brother? Page three seventy seven. Uh, the "Stand Up for Jesus," the one on the left. I guess start over. Start at three.
missing Jesus Loves Me, page 479 in Dark Blue Samba. still the same I don't have any any before me so uh, we just had a good camp meeting yesterday and it turned out real good and uh, I think uh, if we had it uh, another way maybe those people that testified would not have done that and those that have preached may not have Peace also. So I think this has been just an encouragement on us to even uh, do better. You know, we can do it. Uh, we can uh, have uh, somebody uh, maybe if it, they, they're looking for a preacher, I'll say we have two. <laughs> and then uh, and, and so, was, and then also it was good food for just just a little of us. Uh -huh. There was like over was overflow food wise. Yeah, uh huh. This thing goes for that broth <clears throat> and everything. Yeah, uh, hey man. Okay, he's gonna do that. He said he wants to do the another song or something. <clears throat> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, announcement. Sorry if. The ladies' conference is at El Nathan Church on <clears throat> the 23rd to 24th. It's hosted by the Open Door Baptist Church, Mrs. Jessica Roanhorse. Cost is $80, includes one night lodging at El Nathan. If you want to go, ladies, let my mom, Sharon, <clears throat> Sharon know. Next is church cleaning. Don't forget to sign up for the church cleaning. Please get the cleaning done prior to the Sunday you sign up for. Revelation reading. Continue reading daily in this book. Read verse by verse for understanding. And then the prayer request. All who are heading back to school, all the church members and their families, recovery of those with sick with COVID-19, and comfort for the family members who have passed. Comfort for those family members of those who have passed away. United States, Arizona, Navajo Nation leaders, pray for a revival in our country during this time. We have a Opportunity to be a help 
I am witness to someone else. Our next song will be... The, the Dark Blue Songbook, page... Any recommendations? Just go over the door to the... What page? What page? Um, 65. Uh, 65 or what? No. Maroon book. Door of the Glory Land. So silly. Just over in the to go to and then uh, 
All right, we're in the book of uh, Matthew 17. If you don't have your outline, uh, it's uh, in the, the holder over there. Matthew 17, the uh, list. And that's where we'll be for the duration of the... The message store list. Okay, let's see where one through five do list. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, and his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as light. And be behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter, you know, this guy always get in ya, mm -hmm. and uh, said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. While he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom... I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. All right, 16, door 17. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And then verse 21. How be it this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Uh, thanking you again for your word. We uh, thank you that uh, we have a chance to hear what you have in, in these readings. And we pray for just uh, a touch from heaven as we continue to have fellowship here in church and we pray for strength and uh, health for the day. Well, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Jesus, Peter, James, and John, and Leo Tao, just keep it no <laughs> You know, uh, I, I was thinking about uh, our camp meeting yesterday. You know, it was uh, I just uh, I got excited. You know, yeah. And then on top of that, Eva told me grandson got saved. You know, you know uh, it runs. Yeah, when you having that excitement, you have a a, a good uh, preaching service somewhere. It's going to continue. Even when the things stop moving, and yeah, you know the 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 Lord's going to continue to bless you, and then that's why it was, you know, it it, it uh, excites us. It uh, uh, just uh, bring tears to, to our eyes sometimes, yeah, uh, in uh, joy that is. Digging 
ออกเอเบนนาเปนนาอีวานอสซูซาออสตลาดเนาะเอ่อยินดอชิชิชิฮาเทียร์อินเฮอร์อายส์ออฟจอยอ่ะเอ่ออันดัตแทสเอทเ
just after that big uh, meeting, just after that big uh, uh, scene on the mount, they go back down yeah, from the mountain top back to reality. That's where the battle is, yeah. You find that there are people that don't like the Lord, they don't like uh, Jesus, and they're not going to agree with you out there. But you did have a great fellowship, you did uh, have a great singing and all that, and then things can change just like that yeah and uh, so I said they had a great meeting and that's good to have a great meeting is the, the best that you can say the second is great experience and failure you know you have a great experience the experience you know it uh, you feel it you see it and then you enjoy it. But sometimes you are, you might uh, miss, for, miss, miss, uh, miss the real thing, yeah. yeah. Jesus Moses and Nahas Lias Nahas and so we see uh, that situation back in uh, uh, two, uh, seventeen, two through four, and and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, 
one for Elias. Although they are never scores, you know, they are at the end of the niche. You know, uh, maybe that's what it was yesterday. Uh, after the church, you feel like, hey, I, I like to do something. You feel good about the meat and the alcohol. Uh, that's where the devil might come in. And so we're going to look at some verses. Uh, we're going to flip uh, uh, some pages uh, around uh, now. Uh, Exodus chapter 12 and verse number 3. All right, uh, Exodus 12 verse 3. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of the month. Uh, let me see where am I am. Doesn't look the, like the right verse. Let me see. 12 3 D needle. It's not 12 3. All right, how about uh, thirteen three? And Moses said unto the people, Remember the day in which he came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. And then you go to chapter 14. You know, after deliverance, yeah, uh, you know, they took uh, pots and pan, and whatever the Egyptian can give them, they were just so blessed with the, even money, yeah, uh, overloaded, and they, they came out of captivity. And that's exciting, but uh, things can change uh, quickly too, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's just like the weather. And then go to fourteen ten. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, Nela. And uh, verse 11, And they said unto Moses, Because there is no graves uh, in uh, Egypt, thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to, to carry us forth out of Egypt is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt saying let us alone that we may serve the Egyptian for if it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness you know right after the victory Right after the, the deliverance, uh, they just got hit. You know, I see the Dead Sea up ahead, yeah. And then you got ahead, you're walking in the valley, yeah. Uh, sheer cliff on this side, sheer cliff on that side, and then there's the Red Sea. It's deep, and then you have an enemy behind you, yeah. You're going to be boxed in. You're a sure corner. You're going to be dead. And so they will complain, hey, we told you not to bother us. Mm -hmm. And they're telling their leader, hey, uh, we shouldn't have left. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to have left. You know, sometimes you might feel that way about your Christian life, yeah. You might wish that you would stay 
in the place where he used to be uh, before he got saved or when you were backslidden. You know, people do get uh, backslidden and then then they feel comfortable with that. And then when they come back to the Lord, they wish that they could, would be back there like before. Yeah. Ado a so, a young John got to teach statement when somebody has to say uh, they are comfortable back in the world. Uh, the ought not to get comfortable with the world, Joshua. Joshua, uh, uh, as we go along, uh, if you're uh, like, if you have an outline, you stay ahead of me. Joshua six twenty, and there we read. Uh, so the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. Yeah. Just a shout. Uh, we, we had uh, some amen yesterday. Yeah. Just a shout. Hey, the shout can do something. And that's why you're a Baptist. You ought to shout sometime. Yeah. Uh, heart and the worship. Hey, oh, ah, what the, that's what we need. Amen. Uh, just say something. Make some noise. And that's what they did here. And the wall fell, fell flat so that the people went up into the city. You know, they, they went on flat ground, yeah. No barrier. And every man straight before him, and they took the city. Oh, that they shall have kinas for not stars. I don't know that they shall know that they shall that they shall know that they shall that they shall know that they shall know that they shall know that they shall know that they know that they shall know that they shall know that they uh, for you to get excited, he's afraid of that. Uh, I want you to keep calm, be like a Presbyterian. Just uh, uh, no, no grin, no, no, no blinking, just sit. That's why he wants you to have. But if he gets excited, he's, he's going to get uh, irritated, he's going to tremble. You know, this devil. Uh, can be driven out of our churches if we just get excited about Jesus. You know what happened? Now? Look at uh, 7 and verse 7. I think Eric uh, read this or the Herman. And uh, Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore has thou at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Ammon rights to destroy us. Would to God we have been content and dwelt on the other side. Right. Hey, wouldn't you, you know, it's a habit, yeah. We rather dwell on the other side, yeah. It not yet the old way. Uh, just be halfway Christian. Uh, that's what we want, hey. We don't want to uh, get in the uh, just a uh, little uh, hook and sinker. 
at eto to 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 ya te a kocho ta gi es es a to kocho otlan cho na te es es ka cho ti pe ha na 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 ko to ni le a pen ti le o na ji ne ka to e cho ta na a ko ha ta te es ra jo ke ta te es na to ye ta ni ra ka de bi ke ta ho te es no ko e pen ni na a con a yat sahot on sonata kiss. You know, that's what it is. I mean, uh, you have a great meeting, you have a, a great preaching, and then the next thing you know, you're going to face some battle, yeah. You're going to face some battle. You're going to, uh, you might have a flat tire, you might run out of gas, yeah. Uh, you might have a tummy ache, you might have a headache, you might that. Uh, just something might go wrong. You know, it happens uh, with us here in Oatland. But I need to have a quiet issue Something is there waiting for us. Now go to Job, now to Job chapter 1. And uh, Job, uh, I like Job. You know, somebody was telling me to, would you uh, study Job for, for a while? And then actually that got person really needed Job. I started to read and I said the devil came and then uh, Job got infected with something. He lost his children, he lost his daughters, he lost his money, he, he lost his help, he lost his land, he lost his wife. And this man began to cry. He said, that, that is it. That's it. That's what I needed. I, I needed you to read that. And uh, so he, he, he just wept and uh, just like a little baby. Uh, he needed some scripture that would help him see himself. And there are a lot of times, uh, Job uh, 1 8 or less. Uh, and the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? You know, uh, Satan goes to heaven. And there is none like him in the earth, a perfect man, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and eschewth evil or hate, uh, evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for, not, for nothing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're blessing him. He has uh, ten good healthy children. Uh, they have houses, they have camel, they have sheep, and Job himself is healthy. And uh, you know, Satan will uh, pick at us, yeah. Uh, he's going to uh, uh, say, hey, uh, then uh, maybe the Lord might take something. I hope the Lord doesn't do that. Uh, it's not good uh, to lose something, yeah. It may happen, you know, you are excited from yesterday, yeah. And then Satan might show up. You know, things may go wrong and then you... You know, that's, that's what, what is in around us. We're always facing that. Uh, uh, Satan died Ado 
even in the high yet. Uh, you know, we need encouragement uh, after the meeting, yeah. Uh, don't don't lose your focus after the meeting. Uh, Jesus, but not how 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 galako ans eh johot aw ibohonet na dole. And then go to Matthew. Matthew is uh, where the Lord uh, actually uh, was tested by Satan. You know, uh, even the Lord had been tested. If the Lord has been tested, don't you think that Satan will test us too? Jesus bought in this town. Jesus bought in this town that he said on the Lord and not God. Verse 1 says, Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted, Forty days and forty nights, he was afterward in hunger. Yeah, mm -hmm. physically you're hungry. I think we got overfed yesterday. Oh, your day is not. Yeah. And uh, we weren't hungry, you know. But uh, you know, the devil can use your your your. Your sensation, ya hat is in the nal doggy, sotos, as dot on the hat eggy, neat nan jiggy, three dots in ya. The chin sally, the bar sally, Joko, a ya did. So the Zenebin in night, the chin's name in Nanchebe in the Zin the hat here. You know, I like this verse, verse four. Temptation comes, what do you do? Answer him with the word of God. And he said, He answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Hey, just answer him. Hey, devil. Hey, this is my book right here. Hey, I live by this book. Hey, devil, you want me to read to you? I'll read to you Luke. I'll read to you Matthew. The, where the uh, is uh, the devil? Uh, the 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 fire was uh, actually was uh, built for the devil and his angel. I'll read to you Revelation twenty. Where you're thrown into the lake of fire, Amen. and uh, you're going to burn forever and ever. Hey, I'll, I'll read you that if you want me to. This is what my my life is. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. uh, just tell him that. You know, he'll come. Mm -hmm. Exodus 32. Actually, 31. Exodus 31. Uh, we had a good fellowship yesterday. Amen. I, I enjoyed it. I, uh, hey, I wish we would repeat that. But I think you might have it on uh, on tape, yeah. I hope it is. Uh, I can re-listen re re to it. And then it'll be good. Hey, I'll, I'll re relive the experience again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope uh, Eric and Eva are singing is on there, too. Uh, I'd like to hear that for the second time, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I... That song, I, I think I heard it before, but uh, never in Navajo. And uh, they just uh, re actually translated that, and so it's, it's good, hey. If you can sing in Navajo, that will be a help to uh, a lot of us, yeah. In this world, Exodus 31, 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Let me see. All the way to 14. Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbath ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your great generation, that ye may know 
that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you, every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among the people. And then you go to chapter 32 and verse 1 through 6. You know Moses up, is up on the mountain talking with God, yeah. They gave his son a condenata, and he came back. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for, for, as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we what not, uh, not, uh, not what, we don't know what has become of him. That's the idea there. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden ear. You know, the Aaron is supposed to be a leader too. But he asks, Okay, how about your earring? <laughs> That's uh, just off. Pretty off. Which are in your ears of your wives and your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me and all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron and Aaron received them uh, at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool uh, it takes work to do something why why not just uh, talk to God yeah. uh, he's working on something after he made it a molten calf and uh, said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee out of the land. It doesn't make sense, yeah. It wasn't a golden thing that brought them out. It, it, hey, it was the Lord. Now they just switch it right there. Hey, this this is the God that brought us out of the land of it. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before and Aaron made uh, proclamation said tomorrow is a feast of the Lord and when they rose early in the mor morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offering and the people sat down to eat to drink and rose up to play mm. you know bad scene yeah mm -hmm. you know you just go wicked when you leave the Lord yeah you just go bad. You go as far as you can go in your wickedness. Uh, you can make an idol. You can uh, begin to drink. You can begin to dance. That's what they're doing. Just because a man went up was supposed to be talking with God. And here at the back home, something is going wrong, yeah. And that's what happens, you know, that you, you actually uh, were led out of Egypt and yet what makes you think that an idol will deliver you? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense to me, but that's what they did, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that corner? Eh, hey, yeah. Moses, now, but air, now, but the dog, kiss hot, illa, yeah, the hot, and little bear, bear, bear. Eh, husband, though, but don't know. Ah, and judge all the day, no, bear, don't know. Ah, Sabbath, she forgot as ah, they need to see it. It is he or a beggar, she eat la. Corn la, then this carpenter and the hot eat la. I don't know, that's the reason, yeah. And they're not going to be able to do it. 
आरो नत अतलाया आरो तो नत से इखा जो खोना था न ना खे अन्य ये यं जनो खोते ते खोने तो हद ना तो कि या कोट आई ता तो खोता चिल्ला ता जो एप ने ना ती ता ना किसान हुई ना आरो निश्चित होता नो था होता even in uh, watch out, hey, I forewarn you that, that things can uh, trip you up after a, a good meeting, a good preaching, good uh, singing, testimonies, and, 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 and that can happen. So don't, don't, I won't be surprised that this thing can happen. And then go to... Second Kings twenty. Second Kings twenty. Second Kings twenty and verse number one. You know this guy is a good guy. I like this Hezekiah, but he made a mistake. You know he caused a, re a revival in his country. Just because of his ill illness, actually God told him that he was one to go. Okay, verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine heart house in order for thou shalt die and not live alright yeah, take out your insurance and uh, be sure you have a benefactor yeah. uh, be sure you have the night, uh, same sign you're going to die hey. uh, you, you better know who you're going to give the cattle to you better know who you're going to give your sheep to be sure you sign your house over to your wife. And you know, you won't die. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he just cried like a baby. And then look at that. Verse number two. And he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I be sixty, O Lord, remember now how I walk before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah, what? Wet, sore, or very hot, very much. He cried. He said, Lord, I need you. I want to die. Ever felt that way? Us older folk, we don't mind dying, but you younger probably don't want to die. Uh, you know, uh, hey, it's a concern, yeah, our health. Mm -hmm. If something is wrong with you, then you're going to you're gonna want to know how to heal that. And so Hezekiah just prayed. And, uh, you know, Hezekiah is a good man. Look at verse 20. And the rest... What did I say? 20. 20, you see, you need... Uh, okay, somehow I messed up on that. I guess it's five. And turn again, tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people. Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, my father, have heard thy prayer, and I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will what? Heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. 
That's where it ought to go, yeah, after you get healed. Go to church. If you're healthy, hey, go to church. That's why he did as a kaya ep abitahani kre again kra e yak na gan has and le na bek rashi te pe hashin baatan a ho wanda e beji ba an le he baatan a na asara na chandal be to no icha o kin cha na haz na haz gali e icha bo ne a sho to ta to ta to ta no icha a konde kapati sana bisi nila. Ato church ko tati yala. So, so, shat im na church sana chigato ya. If he got healed, wouldn't it be best to go to the house where your answer is, ya? But he didn't, uh, he did that. You know, a lot of times we don't do that. People get healthy and uh, quit church, ya. And uh, so you go to verse 14. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto... Actually, I'm not reading the whole uh, scripture there from 1 through 21, but we're, we're cutting in. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto Hezekiah and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They came from a far country, even from Babylon, the enemy nation. And he said, What have they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, All the things that are in mine house have they seen. Talk about uh, what they call it. Uh, Identity theft. Mm. You let the guy in, he's going to rob you. Mm. Uh, he, uh, uh, there is nothing among uh, my treasure that I have not shoot them. Isn't that sad? Mm -hmm. And Isaiah said unto Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord. That's why you ought to be listening. Yeah. Behold, the days will come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried into Babylon. Mm. If you show your, your secret, they'll take it. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. You know, said any with a good answer, but he's he's kind of uh, proud too. You know what he said, verse nineteen. Then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah, "Good is the Lord, the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken." And he said, It is good. I mean, it is not good. If peace and truth be in my days, actually, That's, uh, he said something uh, similar somewhere else uh, uh, that he said he, he, he would rather uh, be uh, at peace with himself mm -hmm. than uh, being concerned about the other people there. Yeah. He
you know, uh, he had a great victory, healing, mm -hmm. and yet he ended up giving himself away. Uh, be careful. Don't let the enemy in. He, he's looking for you. He's looking for your mind. Yeah. He's looking at your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, he's looking at your hand. Yeah. Uh, first John 2, 16, the Indians caught this morning. Mm -hmm. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and pride of life. He might, you know, Indian pride might start to show you. Yeah. yeah, that might, might show. After the camp meeting, hey, hey, you got some Indian pride, it can ride you in the wrong direction. So be careful. And then we go to Galatians. Galatians chapter I uh, have second Corinthians twelve nine. That's it. It's not the, uh, I'm not going to read those. And then I had uh, other scriptures. Uh, because of time, I'd like to uh, give you what is, uh, I'm able to give you within the time I have. But uh, look at Galatians chapter 4 and verse 13. He said... Ye know how through infirmity of my flesh I preach the gospel unto you at first. He came before. And my temptation which was in my flesh, ye despise not. His temptations probably, they don't want people to see him. Maybe looking through his uh, little bit slant in his uh, hand, yeah. It's hard in his eye because he has a running sore. Uh -huh. And you know why he says? No rejected it, but received me as an angel of God, even as Jesus Christ. You know, what, what, what a scene, yeah. They accepted Jesus uh, 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 Paul as the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then look at the, where is then the blessedness that ye spoke of? Mm -hmm. For I re bear record that if it had been possible, ye would have plucked up your own eyes and have given them to me. But today it's possible they can uh, probably have a transplant, yeah. Mm. You want, if they want to share an eye, okay, they'll take the eye out. Uh, and then the verse 6 says, Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Hey, time has changed, you know. They were happy, they were just rejoicing that Paul would come. Now they don't like him. No, that can happen, yeah. Uh -huh. Somebody might say, hey, talk to us about Jesus. Uh -huh. And then they turn around and say, hey, we hate you, don't want you. Uh -huh. You know what I said, they? You know, that's what uh, where you can face after the camp meeting. How about going back to that? Matthew 17. The greater power, but it's not. In verse uh, number 5, the last of that verse says, uh, Hear ye him. Hear ye him. And then verse 21. How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Sometimes we miss that, yeah. Prayer and fasting. You know, there are some people that can be humbled and they began to pray. 
and God can begin to work on in their lives. You know, we do have power. So if, if you feel down after a big event, big camp meeting, a big spiritual high, hey, pray, pray. And that would be your answer. I'll give you some verses here. Second uh, Corinthians one ten. I uh, can uh, probably say it uh, by memory, but when you try to say it by memory, you 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 lose it. So I don't want to lose it. I want to read it. That's a good verse there. Uh, it says that uh, who deliver us from so great a death that would be hell great a death so great a death that's uh, deliver means you're, that's done and doth deliver that's now he can deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver future the Lord covers all bases yeah the past the present and the future he deliver you Amen. don't you think he'll deliver you now yes he can and uh, Jesus hey yeah First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse uh, 3, actually 3, verse 1 and 2. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have a have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that we have that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. Hey, we're, we're praying for those unreasonable men, yeah. You know, it, it starts, it's everywhere today. Everywhere. And then they go to Second Timothy 4.17. You know, Jesus will help you. Jesus is the answer. And after, you don't, don't lose focus. Uh, of him, Jesus and God was before us. On Second Timothy four seventeen. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me, the preaching might fully be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion I think Herman was talking about the lion in the tribulation yeah probably some uh, strange looking thing bad looking uh, person uh, it might be a literal line, but I think it's uh, people. Remember, in, uh, I think it was uh, Ephesians, he said he delivered me from the beast or something like that. Of, of First Corinthians, with, I think it was uh, talking about that. You know, hey, we do have some battle to face, yeah. And uh, we had a great meeting yesterday. We saw the Lord. We saw, we got encouraged. We saw the fellowship. We uh, know where everybody's standing. We can pray uh, confidently for each one of you, where you are, 
and it's good. And we just got excited over that, and uh, I, I can't be forget that. I wonder if we would have the same type of meeting if we had a guest speaker. Uh, I wouldn't know how Eric would preach, I wouldn't know how Herman would preach. But if we had a guest speaker, we wouldn't have that. Uh, Ellen wouldn't have testified. Ellen 3 wouldn't have testified. Aiden would have testified, you know, uh, Raymond. Hey, we, we just got in, yeah. Uh -huh. We all got in. Yeah, I need so. Oh, oh, he's the wheel, not oh, I need so. And then Air and Eva ended, uh, almost ended, but uh, before Air's uh, preacher, they sang that song. You know, it, it rings in my, 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 my ears. I, I like songs. There are songs that I hear that I like to hear again. And it rings in my ear. So I thank you for the fellowship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. And so it was good. Hey, hey, watch out for that 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 nice looking guy that has a guitar and has nice music. But he's gonna burn somewhere in the leg of fire. Watch out for that guy. Uh, just watch out. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this hour. We pray you bless uh, our day. For we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing page 332, Jesus, I Love Thee. Yeah. Mm -hmm.